Hey guys, how are you today? Today is on Schizophrenia and Associated Clinical Verbiage Part 2. Schizophrenia and Associated Clinical Verbiage Part 2. But before we get to this verbiage, verbiage. <laughs> Please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I conveniently recorded this verbiage for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And I've been around some preludes in my years, and this one is quite, quite luxurious. Kind of like a uh, Cadillac. Sounds like this. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Hey, that's Mike the Bird. Me and the Bird. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. He's a crow, he likes to fly in the sun. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Clean shaven today. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. Indeed, indeed. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Too much. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. I don't mind gray fleck. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. So the other day I, uh, I looked in the mirror and uh, I have to share with you guys. The gray fleck is increasing uh, on the jib. Ever increasing. Becoming more and more gray. But again, uh, gray fleck doesn't uh, bother me and I don't mind getting older, but... It's on the increase, the gray fleck. So today is on clinical verbiage of schizophrenia and psychiatric disorders, but particularly pertaining to schizophrenia. And I just wanted to talk about a couple terms related to speech characteristics. Speech characteristics. So normal speech is fluent and coherent with no, normal rate and tone. So the first uh, speech characteristic uh, that could be seen in schizophrenia is poverty of speech. And poverty of speech is um, just as it sounds. Somebody does not talk hardly at all. Very, very quiet, usually internally preoccupied. It will not say much over the course of the day. That would be a poverty of speech. Tangential or circumstantial speech is speech that is, well, tangential to the conversation. Somebody will be involved in a conversation and they will not they were they were very uh, excuse me they will very easily veer off the topic to the peripheries of the conversation so much so that the conversation may lose its uh, theme that's tangential or circumstantial speech and the last uh, one that i wanted to mention is word salad that's right and i kid you not it's called word word salad and word salad is words are sentences that are put together with words all over the place that have no associated meaning. For example, the kitchen, yellow, car, dear, and friend. So somebody might say something like that if they're having word salad. A bunch of words strung together with no associated meaning. There's also one called pressured speech, but that's mostly in bipolar disorder. Um, so, but that's another term, pressured. So we got poverty, poverty of speech, tangential, word salad, uh, and pressured. So those are some clinical terms used to describe uh, schizophrenia speech characteristics. Just uh, wanted to share that with you. I hope you're well. I hope you're hopeful. I hope you're creative and inspired, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you again for each and every view. It truly, truly is appreciated. We'll see you next time on the Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Thank you.